Hey guys, it's Isa here and welcome back to another journal with me video. So this is my second video on journaling on this channel. So I am not gonna make consistent journaling with me video content, but I will make journaling content, bullet journaling content up on my Instagram, which you can follow at Isa Creates. And I'm planning to create a Patreon as well. So watch out for that because I will surely create this specific journaling on a budget series up on my Patreon or up on my IGTV on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me there. I will have the links right down below. So with this video, this is going to be using Shopee supplies under 300 pesos for this journaling on a budget. Um, I don't usually spend a lot of money on my journaling supplies because I just use what I already have accumulated since I was studying in high school um, I still have a lot of stuff that um, are just in drawers and in boxes so I'm gonna try and use them up and yeah so that's just what I do I don't buy much because I know that we're not saving the environment if we just keep purchasing so um, right over here I'm just gonna show you what the things or what are the things that I already have that I got from Shopee from a while back I don't recall where I got these things, but I'm gonna try and link down below some similar items or maybe if I can find it from my uh, purchase history. So um, this uh, little brown paper that I added on my mixed media journal, that's what I'm using, the same one from my past video. And I will have that link down below as well. This brown paper is just a piece or a page from this brown um, craft notebook that I have. Um, I got it a while back because I really wanted to have like brown paper as a journal um, but it was super thin paper so every time I tried to watercolor over it it would crumple up but I still use it as a journal so I just got a page of that so it is actually just 50 pesos or 55 but if you use a single page it will be like 0.5 pesos I don't know but it's gonna be super cheap if you just use up whatever you have so I just took tore this page from that notebook and then I'm just sticking it on my spread. Also, as you can see, there is a doily over here. So I just cut up this little thin piece of doily that I bought a while back. It is, I think, 50 pesos for 100 pieces. I don't recall the price, but it was just pieces from there that haven't been used up. So I just got them over here and I just cut up this one thing, I mean this one doily, and then just added it up there. I also have this like little post-it butterflies that I got for 9 pesos. There was like this 9 peso sale um, on Shopee. We all know that if you shop on Shopee, avid Shopee th um, sh shopper right here. So yeah, I just got that. Um, but this jotter pad or this like piece of paper that I'm using, I just already have it here at home. I didn't buy any blank paper from Shopee. So what I'm doing right here is I'm going to make this Mickey Mouse kind of theme or Mickey Mouse spread because amidst the situation that we have right now, we all need that positivity and we all need that little bit of joy, a little whimsical feel to the world. Um, so yeah, we need, even though we're under isolation or what you call is enhanced community quarantine, um, we still need something to lift up our spirits. So that's why I decided to create this Mickey Mouse themed um, spread because every time we look at Mickey Mouse since we were younger, it's just like happiness. And Mickey Mouse reminds us to keep believing, to stay positive, to be happy. Um, it's just like Disneyland. Whenever you go, it's like the happiest place on earth. So as you can see, I just trying. So I'm trying to place this Mickey stencil that I made up on this notebook because I wanted to paint this with kind of a rainbow or ombre theme. Um, so... I'm just trying to recreate that on this clean piece of paper that I want to place on my journal. So I'm using these um, pens that I got from Shopee as well. This one is like a gel pen that you can get for a pack of 12 for 35 pesos, I think, which is, of course, really cheap when you divide it for per piece. Um, I also used these neon pens or metallic pens that you can buy, I think, for 30 pesos or some 35 pesos for 12 pieces which is i think a really good deal and it works well on black paper as well um so 
maybe I can show you something with black paper using these metallic pens but for now this is what I'm doing I also have these water brushes like mini travel water brushes that I got from Shopee I don't remember if these were the 29 pesos or the 20 pesos ones or the 9 pesos ones I bought a couple of these because I put them in my travel bags or travel pouches whenever I go out and try to journal outside I also have these highlighters um, these are the twin markers so they have like a fine tip at the end and then a broad tip on the other side but these are like highlighters they are fluorescent colors and I'm just going to use these as my watercolor because I didn't buy watercolor from Shopee and I didn't want to use watercolor that I already had because I want to show showcase that you can journal with anything that you have if you if you purchase it even if it's a hundred uh, under 300 pesos so I think these markers are 60 pesos I believe I think um, yeah I think these are 60 pesos and they come in a pack of six yeah so what I'm doing here is I have this piece of acetate I don't know if it's called acetate but I just got this from packaging I cut it up into like this small um, little palette and then I just put on the highlighter or the twin marker over there and then I wet my water brush and just use it as watercolor as you can see there is this greenish color and then I mixed it with blue that doesn't look quite nice but I try to fix it in the end um, it didn't blend that well unlike the top layer but we're just gonna go with it, we're gonna go with the flow, and I don't know, it kind of looked nice after I fixed it up on the journal, so watch out for that. Um, yeah, so it has this purple, green, blue, and it kind of mixed badly, I kind of did some mistakes, but it still looks nice. Anyway, so again here I'm just layering this Mickey thing with my little doily that's half of the other one that I did cut up, so I'm just trying to find a place for it and then I decided to fix it on this part so I'm just going to glue that down and there you go next I think I'm gonna take these washi tapes that I got from Shopee as well I think these are a pack of five for 55 pesos which is also a great deal it's like 10 something for each they're really good quality and I just placed them here on this journal page. I have here this very cute Mickey Mouse stickers that I got from Shopee again, which is guys only 10 pesos. I think they're actually 9 pesos, but they're just on that range. And then this is a little bit optional. This is not under 300 pesos, but it is 350 by itself. I have wanted a label maker for so, so long. And finally, I decided to get one because I wanted to label some of my stuff for organization as well. I lost the clips of me writing this keep believing using the twin markers as well as me placing the stay positive one. But as you can see here in the keep believing or in the believing part, I messed up. I use the metallic or neon pens that smudge a lot, guys. So be careful when you use it. Um, so I'm just trying to cover this part up, as you can see. I ripped up a piece of this craft paper and then I'm just trying to find a place how I can cover it up. And then I decided to retrace the word believing over or like half of it over this brown paper and then I'm just going to cut it up and then place it um, over the mess that I made so again whenever we make mistakes it's always a happy mistake according to Bob Ross so we are just going to make do with what we have and not make the spread scrap so I'm just gonna place this um, half of the word over the mess that I made and I think it looked pretty good and it looked um, very different so again I'm just gonna get these neon markers and carefully line them up and then just write over it again to make it look a bit more cohesive I'm getting this like black or dark gray marker I mean neon pen and then just tracing it below and then adding some designs over my words 
I chose to write Keep Believing because whenever, again, it's a Mickey Mouse, so it, Mickey Mouse makes us believe, makes the dreams come true. So hopefully we keep believing that things will get better. Let's stay positive, not in the disease kind of way, but stay positive mentally because this enhanced community quarantine can take a toll on our anxieties, on our mental health. So let's just keep believing and stay positive that things will get better. And let's pray to our dear Lord that um, this will pass because without Him, we're nothing. And in these times, we really need all the prayers that we can get. So as you can see, I crumpled up another piece of this paper and then just wrote the date on the other side using the metallic markers. I also did a kind of swatch of the highlighters and then that's where I'm going to write over as my journaling. And then, so what I'm writing over here, I'll read to you guys. So we expected 2020 to be a good year, especially that it's my year as it is the year of the rat. But a lot has already happened and it's kind of scary. Lives of many have been lost. It's hard to be happy at times like this. Anxieties are increasing due to the situation. God, please help us in this time of isolation and quarantine. We need you more than ever. And on the side, I also wrote COVID-19 COVID causing pandemic. Thankful to have my family close, praying for all of those far from their families and with little to spare. Mickey Mouse always brought joy, even in the saddest of situations. Please help us, Lord. Together we stand, but divided we fall. So together we must pray and we must believe that things will get better for our country. So things will get better, just keep believing. So that is my journal spread and I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you kind of like these videos that I make, which are these journal with me videos. And hopefully I could upload more videos like this soon. And make sure to watch out for my Patreon. Um, follow me on Instagram at Isa Creates and at Thea Isabel F. And I will talk to you guys soon on my next video. And stay safe, wash your hands, and keep praying.